SDN is proven to be a fundamental technology to enable the digitalization and automation of networks. Andrew, good to see you on Telecom TV again. Um, Lumina Networks has released a new version of its SDN controller. Um, why now and, and what's new? Well, this is really about the maturity of Open Daylight as a project. Um, this is the eighth version that, that we've released um, as Lumina and, and formerly as Brocade. Uh, there are over 200 developers working in the Open Daylight community. There's numerous releases every year that come out. Uh, this is a very vibrant project and something that's, that's moving forward um, against uh, new and interesting use cases with, with kind of each release. Now, when you talk about use cases, um, you've got a, a, a use case um, demonstrated here at ONS Europe, I believe. Yes, we have. Um, so, we, one of the things that we really believe about SDN is that it should be a convergent technology and allow the management of multiple things across the network. So with each of the use cases we're, we're pulling, we're starting to manage multiple different domains and devices and types of things in, in very unique ways. So why, why converge these different networks? Why do we need to, to, to do that and, and why is SDN the right route? Well, for example, um, for any service provider today, when they provision a, a new customer service, it can often take a couple of months for that service to get deployed because product by product, um, domain by domain, it has to get provisioned by different groups at different times. One of the empowering, enabling functions that, that SDN Control and Open Daylight provides is the ability to um, help and drive the automation of that process, regardless of the product or the underlying technology, and get that provisioning action down to seconds and not weeks. And it's that impactful and that powerful, and that's why it's so important to the kind of transformation and digitization of the, that we're experiencing in networking. And this importance, um, I guess, is increasing as the, you know, the, the pace of innovation changes in this industry. It's so fast, so this is becoming more and more relevant to telcos. It's absolutely relevant to telcos, and it's relevant to solving real-world problems today. So um, one of the, the things that we're, we're demonstrating in the demonstration is that uh, we can take an existing routed network, um, we use Cisco, it could be Juniper, it could be Aristo, using standard protocols like BGP, have another part of the network that is all white box, using OpenFlow or some other method, and basically dynamically build paths across those two networks with MPLS, and, and bring these two very unique and different domains to operate as one network in its entirety. And, and that's, that's very special and shows the power of open daylight being used for these applications. We're seeing a lot of interest at the moment on uh, SD WAN, and yet at the same time, there's doubts about its, its suitability and, and viability. Um, what, what, what's wrong with SD WAN as it stands at the moment? SD WAN's been a, a very powerful and useful technology for, for enterprises um, in, in basically getting cheaper services and a lot faster access, a, a lot better quality, if you like, for the applications that run across the network. Um, however, um, as with many of these technologies, it's been a, what I would term a divergent strategy for service providers. And what I mean by that is it's creating essentially a new overlay network, yet another domain to manage and control. And so a lot of these overlay technologies are just look like new networks that have to be managed and controlled in their own way. And actually worse than that, they also impact the existing network in ways that you can't always foresee and understand. So from our perspective, we think that SD-WAN technology needs to start to be managed under a, a more central umbrella where we can converge these networks. And so the, the convergence of SDN and management of the network, when we talk about convergence, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago when we meant you know, voice and data. Well, the management of these things never really converged, and now it is, and a lot of the push for the industry is to do that. So with all of these divergent things, which are important and valuable in their own right, they have to be thought of in the context of how can they be centrally managed and brought into the, the entire service end-to-end -end and, and not just one element. So to avoid this divergence, how do you summarize the best approach to converge these technologies? Well, for example, uh, and so we think service providers do this th the right way which, with SDUAN, which is to um, think about it in how it plays out together with the MPLS network and the IP network. And when a, a service and a customer is provisioned, the SD WAN, which at the end of the day is, is just a set of features that run on an end route, it's not, it's not that special. Um, to do that as part of the service provisioning action, so for that 20 seconds it takes to provision the optical layer, the IP layer, the, CP, the CPE device, and the SD WAN, it becomes part of that action and not something that's a unique and separate thing that a new group has to go do. 
Andrew, thank you very much for joining us on Telecom TV. Pleasure, thank you.